Hello. Today is Monday, January 23rd, 2023. My name is Daniel Mullaney, and behind the camera we have Caitlin Yates. And today we are here to film a video source inspection of a fully remanufactured 4300S uh, spin wrench dryer, uh, remanufactured by our company SciTech and upgraded with our Slick Device S1 control system and uh, system status indicator. This system is shipping out of the United States and our customer's PO is 540306. Taking a look at our build uh, sheet here, we have this system configured with our normal options, which would be a resistivity probe to measure the resistivity of the wastewater. We have uh, DI water recirculation, and we have a static eliminator to reduce the static charge and help with particle control on the spin rinse dryer. Okay, go ahead and set down my report here. So, as we have a 4300S system, this is configured for the maximum uh, typical substrate size, which is a high profile 8 inch cassette and substrates. We also can fit 300 millimeter into the system, so if you are looking for a 300 millimeter tool, please give us a call. Here we have our normal high profile 8 inch though. We'll go ahead and slide this in and get the process started. I can see inside the bowl that we have the mirror finished bowl. Everything looks excellent on this tool. Okay, getting the system started up. So now we have our typical one minute 500 RPM rinse. Feeling the side of the tool, I feel minimal vibration if anything, uh, which is great because we have a brand new rotor in the system. So everything looks to be running fantastic. Coming to the back of the tool, everything looks great here as well. Um, obviously no leaks coming out of the system. I see the full flow coming out uh, to the drain uh, in our facility setup right here. I'm going to turn on the water recirculation valve just to verify that's functionality. Okay, just turned it on. Everything's working great with that as well. Go ahead and turn it off. It's really easy to, to uh, adjust and change the water recirculation flow rate. There's a valve on the back of the system that you just adjust in order to um, get the flow rate that you're looking for. Whether you're looking for the typical slow trickle or a higher flow for any reason, you can go ahead and adjust that back here. Okay. This system uh, was also inspected for overseas shipment and we have our certification tag on the back of the tool. So we actually brought in an outside company, review the system and it meets all the requirements to ship overseas to our uh, designated country. We also have our system serial number on the back of this tool, which is SRD-1404. So our customer can identify that uh, when it arrives. Okay, so we just finished with our rinse process. Uh, we're now ramped up to our high RPM dry one cycle. Again, I can feel minimal vibration, if anything, on the side of the system. It's balanced extremely well. And we have one minute left of our dry one. So really what we're gonna do here is we're gonna spin at a high 1800 RPM for a short amount of time in order to physically sling the majority of the water off the cassette and substrates. We're really using the spinning motion right now to do the majority of the total drying process. We do have the heater blankets on and we do have the uh, nitrogen heater manifold active, but although they are drying the cassette and substrates, the main portion of the total drying process is done by literally just flipping the water off of the um, uh, rotor cassette and substrates. As soon as this 1800 RPM process is complete, we're gonna jump into our lower RPM dry uh, cycle, where we're gonna run at 500 RPM, uh, maybe 600, depending on how it's programmed, for about five minutes. So at this point, we've actually flinged the big water droplets off. Now we're gonna slow down and let the drying um, elements that I just described, the heater jackets and the N2 heater, to complete the drying process. That combination of slinging the water off followed by the heater gives you the uh, most efficient dry time while keeping low particles. And most importantly, ensuring that your cassette and substrates are dry to a point where they have a minimal um, opportunity for any sort of contamination to the wafer surface. When we have a normal spin rinse dryer process, as you see here, you will see absolutely no water spotting or any other type of uh, surface contamination associated with the wafers. Again, that's obviously the most important part is to keep your product uh, in a condition ready to continue your production process. Okay, so we've got 255 or so seconds left right here. Um, and really, we're just going to be watching the system continually spin and, and dry. Um, 
So uh, I'll take this opportunity to introduce a, a variety of other products and services that our company offers. So obviously we're taking a look at a spin rinse dryer right here. Um, this is the bread and butter of our company. This is the majority of our business. It's what we're absolute experts in and you can always rely on us to provide high quality remanufactured spin rinse dryers, always including a one year warranty. For any system that we remanufacture for you, we're gonna follow our same extensive process. We're gonna take a system and completely disassemble it to the component level. From there, we're gonna clean or replace all the poly to ensure that it looks like new. As you can see in front of here, we have a combination of new and refurbished poly, but you wouldn't be able to tell the difference because the only poly that goes onto our systems has to look like new. Um, we're also gonna take all of our metal and chemically clean and electro polish it. So all the metal associated with the system is going to be cleaned into a, or in such a way that we have no possible contamination from previous use. As you can imagine, SRDs are used all over in the fab, whether it's a, uh, a traditional process um, for like a um, RCA clean, or we're using it for a gold or copper process, or you're finding it in the lithography area. SRDs are everywhere. Um, so we have to ensure that all previous contamination are removed from the system prior to remanufacturing it and our chemical clean and electro polish process guarantees that and it's guaranteed in all of our quotations. So that covers sort of the, uh, the bones of the system which would really be the frame and the poly. Um, next for the components, we're going to replace a variety of them, rebuild a variety of them, uh, but make sure that all of them are, are uh, in a condition to be backed by our one year warranty. So for example, all of the tubing, gaskets, windows, really anything that's plastic or that'll show wear and tear over time, such as the poppets in the valves, the bearing on the upright positioner, all those parts are automatically replaced in our rebuild process. Then we're going to um, um, rebuild and test out components that don't need to be fully replaced. For example, that upright positioner where we replace the bearing, we're going to completely disassemble that, clean it out, replace the oil in it, and then remanufacture it together. Same thing with the motor. We're going to remove the bearings, go through a full cleaning process on it, um, reassemble it using all of our jigs, test it out on our separate um, uh, other jigs, or I wouldn't say a jig, but like testing systems in order to validate that it's been remanufactured properly, and then we're going to throw that into our system as well. So. We really do the most extensive possible process and it really starts with what we do with the components when the system is disassembled. From there, we're gonna go through a variety of quality control checkpoints until we reach our first step, which is our dry check. During our dry check, we're gonna um, have the system assembled, but just the chamber itself. And that's where we're gonna check for spacing, that it's electrically sound and a variety of other uh, checkpoints. We're then gonna go through more QC until we get to our wet control. When we get to our wet testing, we're going to hook up the system to our full facilities such as DI water, the nitrogen, the drain, everything like that. And now we're going to run the system checking to make sure that the flow rates are correct, the nozzles are spraying correctly, that there's no leaks, and that the system is really functionally completely sound at this point. Um, from there, we're going to then assemble the system into its final configuration. That's what you see in front of you. So now we have our final configuration, which is a single standalone eight inch high profile rinser dryer configured with our touchscreen controllers and our system light indicator. We then bring it into our final test area where we are now, go through our final checkpoints, and then lastly, film a video source inspection, exactly what I'm doing right now. So we have about 15 seconds left. Um, the last thing I wanna say is that our touchscreen retrofit is the only one available in the market that can be uh, seamlessly integrated into any spin rinse dryer, any semi-tool spin rinse dryer that you guys have. These can be plug and play in the field for 101 controllers and 102 controllers. They can also be installed into your systems when you send them in for refurbishment um, or installed into systems that you purchase from our stock. They have nitrogen saving capability. They monitor components that aren't monitored already. They have data logging, sex gem communication, all the features that you would expect in a new piece of equipment, we incorporate into our touchscreen controller. So when you purchase remanufactured equipment from SciTech, you're getting all the value of new equipment for a fraction of the price. Okay, now let's take a look at our finished product here. So I can feel under the chamber and the nitrogen's purging in hot, which is expected as we just had the warm nitrogen running. We have our cassette and substrates here and they are completely dry 
and the cassette is nice and warm to the touch. So here we had a successful process run of our eight inch product in the spin rinse dryer. I would like to thank you for taking the time to view our video source inspection for today. Again, my name is Daniel and Caitlin and I filmed this video for SciTech Process Solutions. If you'd like to learn more about our products, please take a look at some more of the videos on our YouTube channel or visit our website at www.scitechprocess.com. You can also give us a call at 916-797-9000 and to reach me directly, dial extension 2201. I thank you again for your time and I hope you have a great day.